Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Drone in Mexico helps authorities significantly decrease crime. City of Spokane to use drone for infrastructure inspections. And NASA flies large unmanned aircraft and national airspace system without chase plane. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. A drone operated by authorities in Ensenada, Mexico, led to a significant decrease in overall crime in the city. Ensenada police say that over a few months, their single DJI Inspire 1 drone has led to more than 500 arrests and contributed to an overall 10% drop in the crime rate, including a 30% drop in residential robberies. Over the past four months, the drone has flown an average of 25 sorties per day. The drone is deployed based on 911 call volume. It is operated from a centralized control room using software developed by CAPE, a California-based company. Jesus Ramos Avendano, CTO of the Ensenada Police Force, said the drone has significantly reduced response times following a 911 call. CAPE CEO Chris Rittler said that drones are often redirected to a potential crime scene during a flight that is already underway. The drone can reach that location before police on the ground and give them visual information about the situation. Any authorized officer can access live video streaming from the drone while it's in the field. Rittler said that these have a clock in their head to estimate the time from when they force entry to when the police arrive. The drone significantly decreases that time window, he said. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. K2 Unmanned Systems has announced their partnership with Robotic Skies to provide K2 customers the complete customer service experience. K2 Unmanned recently released their new industrial-grade drone, the Nighthawk. This coaxial octocopter small UAS is equipped with a FLIR Duo Pro camera, displaying thermal signatures along with 4K electro-optical imagery. A team of four students from the Colleges of Aviation and Engineering at Daytona Beach returned to campus as the big winners in the National Science Foundation's Cyber Physical Systems Virtual Organization Challenge, a National Collegiate Autonomous Aerial Vehicle Competition held in Marana, Arizona in May. The challenge for the undergraduate teams was to use an unmanned autonomous quadrotor aircraft with a downward-facing camera and possibly other sensors to scan an area for a lost aircraft and recover it safely back to base. Kansas State University Polytechnic Campus is expanding its program options with a new offering for individuals interested in cybersecurity of unmanned aircraft systems. A graduate certificate in unmanned aircraft systems information assurance is being launched in fall 2018. Their certificate provides working professionals and graduate students an educational foundation in an industry important to both military and civilian organizations. On April 11, 2018, the first commercial UAS flight at JFK International Airport took place. The UAS was flown at the TWA Flight Center to film for an upcoming documentary on the construction of the new TWA Hotel. UAS pilot in command Christian Tucci and visual observer Cal Hurley performed five flights in the span of the approved flight window. A DJI Inspire 2 climbed to a maximum altitude of 200 feet while maneuvering in various arcs over the TWA terminal building. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The city of Spokane, Washington will soon implement a program using a drone to assist in infrastructure inspections and construction projects. Local lawmakers approved the plan last week. Officials say using the aircraft will help the city complete projects more quickly while saving money for the taxpayers. The drones will also improve safety for city workers, according to Public Works Director of Strategic Development Marlene Feist. Fewer employees will have to be placed in potentially dangerous situations, leading to fewer on-the-job injuries. If we can use a drone for that purpose and determine when we really need to send an employee there, that's a good thing, Feist said. The city has approved $15,000 on its new drone. Pilot training is already underway 
and the new aircraft will be flying for the city by the end of the summer, if all goes according to plan. NASA's remotely piloted Akana aircraft, based at the agency's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, successfully flew its first mission in the National Airspace System without a safety chase aircraft last Tuesday. The FAA granted NASA special permission to conduct this flight under the authority of a Certificate of Waiver, or authorization. The flight took off from Edwards Air Force Base in California and entered controlled airspace almost immediately. Akana flew into the Class A airspace where commercial airliners fly, just west of Edwards at an altitude of about 20,000 feet. The aircraft then toured north toward Fresno, requiring air traffic control to be transferred from the Los Angeles Air Route Traffic Control Center to the Oakland Air Route Traffic Control Center. On the return trip, the pilot headed south toward Victorville, California, requiring communication control to be transferred back to Los Angeles. During the return flight, the pilot began a gentle descent over the city of Tehachapi, California, into Class E airspace about 10,000 feet. The pilot initiated an approach into Victorville Airport at 5,000 feet, coordinating in real time with air traffic controllers at the airport. The aircraft then exited the public airspace and returned to its base at Armstrong. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero newsnet And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.